The last leg of the tour, Geraldton, Exmouth, Caratha and Broome. Definitely the most physically and mentally demanding leg of the tour because of the amount of travel and the lack of sleep. I had to also reface situations that had bad memories attached to them. So the anxiety was pretty alive, but all part of the process. Kicked it off with Geraldton, Regional Sounds Workshop, Monkey Mind, pretty alive. I think it was because of the nature of the gig where I felt really exposed because it wasn't so much about the songs, it was about telling my story. But it was a really cool creative space in an old library, a really beautiful community, and as fear would just rise on stage, I suppose I'd lean in and just look into the eyes of the people in front of me to, to realise that they're just human and they've got their things as well. And so the whole space ended up turning into this source of love. So fear ended up morphed into this feeling of aliveness where you know, I felt really good about telling my story and playing my tunes. And it was really awesome to have my agent up there too. Then we headed to Exmouth, nine hour drive, Frothcraft Brewery, and on the way up, we stopped at Coral Bay for a sunset swim. And then the next morning, we went to Turquoise Bay via the lighthouse and had an amazing chill out and swim there. And I remember that I'd actually been there in the mid 90s with my band um, before a gig. So it was a real spin out. Headed to the brewery where we were playing, a lot of heart, the venue staff were amazing. And we played our asses off. I don't know whether it's because it felt like a holiday or it was the heat or whatever it was, but there was just that magic in the air. I'd say that was the best stage performance of the tour. Caratha, Northwest Brewing Co, six and a half hours, and it was fucking hot, desert hot. But I love seeing so much nothing on this drive. I think it's just the space that I needed in my head. And we found this really cool lookout that had some interesting spiritual messages from the land. Australia, mate. <laughs> Yeah, but another fun gig with good people, but yeah, it was hot. I mean, there was sweat everywhere. And it turns out, of all places, Caratha, they're huggers. And that means I had to get real comfortable with the exchange of bodily fluids. Broom, mad early rush for a nine hour drive the day of the gig, and we were warned, look out for the sign that says last petrol station before Broom. We were looking out for it, but obviously we missed it because. So we found ourselves in a position where we're desperately looking for fuel. Last time we checked, it was pretty much a full tank. And now we've been on empty for fucking 20 minutes. And this is the road that is pointing to a only fuel station before Broom, 23 Ks. Hopefully we've got enough to get there and back if it's not open. This is the last thing you want to do on today. <laughs> da Dave a gig. <laughs> That's all right. I'd, we've got, we can always scrap sound check if we get stuck. That's a river. You're fucking shit. Well, who was the one who said it's four wheel drives only? Really? Matt. 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 So I was definitely sensing a bit of a spinal tap moment on approach. But Broom came through with the good vibes. I mean, even if it, the room looked a little bit bare, it was a killer last gig. And we celebrated, maybe we celebrated a bit too much because the travels home sucked. It sucked. Oh my God. And especially as somebody who's still trying to work through their fear of flying, like it really sucked for me. But as soon as I accepted it with a little bit of love and humor, uh, I did find some peace up there and ended up getting a bit of rest. And what a victory. I feel so high when I return from tour because um, it feels like my world has expanded. I'm living out my purpose and I love bringing that home to the family as well. I got to give a huge, huge thanks to the team, Kenny, Tom, Will and Mel and all the venues and their communities for making this trip a huge win for many reasons. Definitely looking forward to sharing more about that too. But for now, I've got to go to bed. <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm happy, but I'm tired. <laughs>